Well, welcome back to the channel. <sighs> Thanks for joining me today. Out on a lovely ride out today. Uh, a little bit nippy, a little bit chilly, but the the purpose of the video today is I'm going to uh, discuss uh, basically the cameras. Now, I've got three cameras. Uh, we'll talk about that uh, a little bit more when we jump on the bike. But, yeah, I've got three cameras. So, we've got the Insta360 One X2, which I love. And I've got two GoPro Hero 8s. Uh, which are generally the one I'm, I'm using on the helmet now and I generally have one on the handlebars as well so anyway we'll jump on and we'll discuss some of the old uh, techniques and uh, trickery if you like in getting um, you know some of these shots fire up oh, so it's a bit chilly today <laughs> a little bit breezy but turn them heated grips on now straight away and just notice I've got a spanner on there as well on the dash it's due service, I think, so... Anyway, enough about that old waffle. Here we go. Oh. So, yeah, basically... The Insta360 camera... Um, yeah, this, is, this, this enables me to get all of these sort of shots, you know. Uh, looking at me. Looking, uh, you know, looking back at me on the bike or... Whatever, and you'll notice when I click forward, the camera's gone. Um, a little bit of trickery there. Well, it's not really too uh, too much to, uh, of a mission, really. But so really, yeah, that's all to do with the editing. Obviously, <laughs> the camera hasn't fallen off, and. Yeah, that enables me to get these shots. So I'm sort of looking forward now. And then now, boom. You know, it's looking back at me. So. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I am a massive lover of the, uh, the Insta360 camera. Uh, I have tried using it as well with the audio. Uh, I've tried various things with the audio on the on the Insta360. Oh, he wanted the whole road there. <laughs> I've tried, uh, you know, the wireless microphones from uh, the Rode wireless microphones on the 360. With, you know, with the receipt with a receiver on the on the camera and the microphone in the in the helmet. Uh, I found the sound was a bit muffled. I've tried another option where I know we're I'm talking about cameras in general now, but um, yeah, I've tried also. I've had the camera hard, the sorry, the mic hardwired in to the you know direct directing at the camera, the mic adapter. Again, the sound was a little bit muffled then, um, but yeah, I find this is the best method with the the GoPro in the media mod on the helmet recording the sound through the mic and the helmet occasionally it does become I mean the uh, GoPro does have wind reduction but sometimes that's not very uh, very successful sometimes sometimes it kind of interferes with the audio a bit too much I've tried updating the cameras I've tried all sorts I've got the latest firmware but in a nutshell I do tend to find that this is the best method and I generally have another camera I've not got it on the bike today because I want to demonstrate the 360 angles of uh, you know that I, I generally use on the bike um, one thing I will say though is uh, and I've learned the hard way is uh, you can't obviously if you've got the the uh, well, I've got a motorcycle mount with a pole extendable pole and you you know you can't obviously give the bike too much beams obviously the pole will start moving about and bouncing about and obviously you don't really want it on a bumpy you know a majorly bumpy section of road and also it can which you definitely don't want you don't want it touching down on the old tarmac but yeah I mean, you know, it does allow you with a, with a motorcycle mount as well. You get all of these other shots. You can mount the pole, lots of positions on the bike. You know, as you can see, uh, as you'll see, you know, and it's very effective. Very effective, enabling you to get all of those 
you know, the shots of the bike as, you, as you're, you're riding down the road and that. Um, but yeah, I, I am very impressed with it. Takes a little bit of getting used to with the editing. Oh, getting warm. With a little, you know, a little bit of getting used to with the editing of the videos. It's a little bit more involved. Although the software is very user friendly. Very user friendly. It's not, you know, it's not difficult. Oh, I think I've got a fly in my helmet. <coughs> yeah. I think I just swallowed it. <laughs> But yeah, there's you know it, it, it's a learning curve really with a with a you know the, sometimes if you've got three cameras on the go, it can be quite tricky in editing. And uh, I'm not a, I'm you know I'm by far an expert at it. I kind of turn in here actually. Nice windmill there. It's normally quite busy out this way. It's getting that time of year as well. It's nice to come out on my own machine as well. I need to be doing a lot more of that. Let me know in the comments. Do you want to see uh, more, more ride outs and you know, what, what sort of content would you like to see? Reviews, um, test rides, interested to know. Let me know in the comments. There is a video of another ride out. I'll put a link up uh, in the corner. Of, uh, yeah, just what do you want the whole road? God, Jesus. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I love this machine. Yeah, anyway, a little quick, quick, quick video, quick ride out on, uh, you know, some of the angles that hopefully you'll uh, see in this video. Uh, of what I use, and, uh, yeah, and they're not exactly cheap either, the, uh, the, the Insta camera range really, but I think, you know, there is a learning curve with it. I'm not, like I say, I'm no professional with it at all, but, you know, um, yeah. Well, anyway, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Plenty more content coming to the channel. More test rides, reviews, and general ride outs. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, take care and see you soon. Thank you.